Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Indeed, Sewing Bee Chat episode three. three. And we're on our yeah. own this time because we've had to do it of an evening and nobody's yes. about. Yes, our panel. <laughs> They've abandoned us. My mate said uh, Motley Crew we were. <laughs> we, are, we were a bit higgledy piggledy mm. to be fair. But yeah, yeah. so um, just, just us, us two. So we'll try and hear your thoughts over the waves as well. <laughs> I thought it was a really good episode. I was. I was so pleased. After us talking about the whole 70s thing and I was hoping for flares. Yeah. And of course, that flares! Had to be, yeah. yeah. We were all yeah. in a decision on WhatsApp last night and Monday's like, yeah. I was thinking of you when this came on. So I was so pleased because I do have a massive bundle of cord that I'm going to turn into flares. Really? Yes. Yeah, great. I inherited a humongous yeah. pile of cord. So I was really pleased. But I've discovered I have to be really careful with my nap. Yeah, indeed. Mm. Which was one of those issues that came up. Yeah. So they were looking at the flare jeans and uh, a couple of points to talk about were the fly was yeah. of interest, wasn't it, to pay attention to and the waistband. Yes, and the yoke That's at right. the back yeah. and that lovely interlocking yeah. seam. That yeah. seemed like very complicated yeah. where it looked like this, didn't it? Where it was wrapped around and flattened. That's right, yeah. So that we knew, uh, you know, when they highlight those things at the beginning, yeah. obviously they're going to then crop up. But um, mm. they then chose their fabrics, didn't they? Some were uh, like velvet corduroy. Yes. Um, <gasps> Who, which one was your favourite? The... Just what? saying out there. Um... I love Jen's the most, but I love. Yeah, well, it was that mustard colour, wasn't it? Yeah. I actually like Leah's contrasted colour that she did in the pockets, the yes, front pockets. Yes, that was clever. Yeah. Um, but, but I. But she I, got yeah. her pile the wrong way, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she did. Her? Yeah, well, that's what we're talking, that nap. Yeah. Um, well, but she couldn't see it, could she? Because no. one of the earlier clips was, oh, I can't see where my nap is. Yeah, so that she, she didn't, didn't she hold wasn't it sure. up and then see it to the light. Yeah. So um, that's, that's a wee tip if you're dealing with pile or nap and it was a good one Brush it, in front of the light. it was a good one to watch because i still I love that history bit that whole bit about yes. the flares the bell bombs yeah the sailors, the sailors. i yeah. didn't know they were white no. so they could i mean i knew the nickname was bell bottoms yeah but i thought it was just because it was it was like a, a bell end <laughs> not saying anything there um, at all <laughs> <laughs> i was going to do that and not laugh at all I was gonna, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> but, yes, but they did all manage quite well award. didn't they yeah there was, yeah. th th there was nothing untoward. I, they didn't edit it in a way that they all looked like they were um, failing. Uh, uh, they, they did pinpoint the, the waistband on a couple, didn't yes. they? Yes. And poor Ben. Oh, I felt so bad for him. Because obviously he he had to unpick and redo the yoke. Was yeah. it Ben or Alexis? No, it was Alexis. Alexi. Both of them did. Hmm. Alexi. Both of them had to do some unpicking and re-stitching, yeah, didn't and he they? Yeah, and he didn't finish either, no, did he? No, neither of them yeah. finished. I felt so bad for them. I quite liked if Ricardo's was nice. His was almost denim looking, wasn't it? But yes, yeah. His waistband stretched. Yeah. So that was a thing. But yeah, Jen's definitely was awesome. And Janet's was the wonderfully colourful oh, yes. one. They were, f they were full yeah. on 70s. Yeah. They were awesome. I yeah, really liked those. She just those. had it baggy around the fly, didn't she? Yeah, she didn't uh, get her fly right. But she, there was a clip of her saying, I'm not entirely sure how to do this. Because mm. she wasn't sure how far in or out it should be. Or was that Mercedes? No, it was Mercedes maybe with the. Mercedes was the Paisley, that, that big sort of pattern, wasn't it? Yes, that's the ones Strong I was thinking color. of. Ah, sorry. Right. Yeah, it's all right. But she didn't finish her hem and the zip wasn't right, so it was Mercedes who'd done the zip wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just getting them all a wee bit muddled, people. But I, I think they all, they all seem to do quite well. Yes. Other than Ben, who was, you know, and Alexi. noticeably. Alexi. Yeah, right finish. from the beginning, really. Yeah. Per Ben, he just didn't have a good week. No, no, and it continued on, didn't it, into um, the next one, which was the transformation challenge. But they liked his transformation because he did the shoulder kilt and he did the T-shirt that had the writing on it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. and they quite liked that. Yeah. So it came Oh, yeah, he forth. wasn't, he, yeah, he, he, yeah, yeah, he was quite high up, wasn't he? Yeah. So the transformation challenge was punk. I, um, and they had to take uh, three tartan garments, didn't they? Yeah. And... Uh, did they have to use some sort of top and some they sort had of to, bottom? Yeah, they had to make a punk outfit. Yeah. Um, did you follow this on Twitter? No, I didn't. No. I find it fascinating. Oh, you were doing that? So I follow on Twitter as well. What, just the hashtag? Yeah. And just keep refreshing? Yeah. Oh, and so this is a whole new thing. I don't do that. Yes. If you're doing oh, something wow. like this, it's, so if you don't do it, you should do it. Um, so this was interesting to see because there were quite a few people who were, who obviously wore the clothes in that era and right. made their outfits were like, this is not what punk is about. And they're, not that this wasn't what it was about, but 
that the outfits weren't authentic and things like that. So that was interesting to see. What they were saying, yeah. the outfits that were finally made weren't authentic. Yes. And this isn't how it's done. Well, but did I thought they go... it was interesting because you're supposed to just embrace the general feel of it and to produce something yes, you think would yeah. be appropriate. And obviously if they've not been through it, they're not going to know first. No, well, that's the thing. Some of them aren't. It's but, their interpretation. Know. Yeah, I mean, uh, perhaps they took the obvious interpretation, which was that whole idea yes. of anarchy. Yeah, but, but some of them, for example, like Juliet's wasn't particularly punk. No, You'd find no, that in H&M. No. You know what I mean? Or another High Street brand, there are others available. But well, it was, it was, it was the just shorts. too nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was, was the shorts and the top. And it was, it was very, very prim. Yes, because what did Esby say? It was the idea of punk in fashion... Yeah. Obviously not maybe necessarily music, uh, where you know, but in fashion it was the idea that it was going against the norm, wasn't it? It was yes. going against the neat and the tidy, and therefore you would be a, a devil and r reveal yeah. some sort of flesh, hence why the padlock or the, yes. the, the, the nappy bins. And, yes, mm. and um, it was so funny. There was where, And I think they picked up on that, didn't they? Yes, and I think some of them, like Leah's and... What was it? The nipple feature. Oh, that yes. tickled me. I, I did burst out laughing. And then Patrick came along and he's like, it's okay, there's a D-ring there to, yeah. <laughs> for modesty. I was like, well, that's definitely yeah. much more punk, isn't it? And it was all ripped to pieces yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. I really liked her trousers as well. She had the split trousers. So oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fab. I really liked those. And Ricardo won. He did, didn't he? I really yeah. liked his outfit. And I thought it yeah, was much saucy more... saucy with the zip up the bum. It was so funny, but I thought that would be quite in keeping. Yeah. What? But I suppose this thing, the whole point is it's open in, to uh, interpretation. Yeah. yeah. But, yes, there was some, which was your favourite from that one? Do you remember? Mercedes really went for it. I did not she expect did. that from Mercedes yeah. at all. Do you remember hers? It was, yeah, well, she came third. She, she knew it, yeah. And she had the, the thing that went across the body yeah. and, oh, she, I loved it. She ran out of safety pins at one point. She had to run off and get some more safety pins. <laughs> I thought that was really good. And I love Jen's, I think, was a bit more... She had the yes. corset. Yeah, Susie and the Banshees, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And but she... it was that... It was the different fabric at the back. Yeah. It was the... Um, the plasticky sort of... Yeah, uh, it was. like, not latex. What do you think? Oh, a similar it's, idea. It's that... Yeah. With the buckles stuff. of it. But it was quite tailored, wasn't it? Yeah. It was probably still too... Yeah. Too finished. But she came second. Yeah, I I mean, loved... by that point, she was way in front, wasn't she, yeah. Jen? Yeah, because she from, won from, um, the flares. Yeah, yeah, she was, yeah, whooped yeah. the first I mean, challenge. I did laugh at Janet's nappy flap as right. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I like useful. Janet, I like her, I, are, I really yeah. do. It was really good fun. And she'll, and the go, fact that she'll go far, I'm sure. I've actually started finding them on Instagram to follow them. Yes, yeah. So it's quite, it yeah. quite interesting to see they're still making fabulous clothes. Oh, Ben's tie was nice, though. Because he had the writing underneath, didn't he? The anarchy. Yeah. The, the, the bleep. So his... his to patriarchy kilt, or something, his, wasn't his, it? His... What was it? They called it shoulder kilt. Yes. Yeah. It was quite fun. Yeah. Well, clever use of... Well, I mean, ultimately, that's what it's about, isn't it? Not mm. maybe the end product. It's how they are using what they've had and and putting it into an end product. Yes, exactly. It's, it's using how the they're using the garments, isn't it? Yeah. And good use of material yeah. and trying to keep it in What things. did you think of Ricardo? Did he look a bit more styled this week? Did he look like he had I... a haircut or a, a styling? He had the glasses on. I just... I said I on the WhatsApp, looked, I was like, had... just look chiselled or, or smarter in a certain way. Just look different. The glasses, that's what it's done. Was it just the glasses? But it's, I know, he looked a bit, his hair looked slightly fluffier and things. I think he looked less overstyled, so it wasn't as neat. Oh. He looked oh, well, that's probably why then. Yeah, so it was a bit, the hair was a bit... Yeah, a bit yeah. more zhuzhed. Yeah. And but, he was wearing But because glasses. of that, he just looked more styled. <laughs> and he was what? He was a <laughs> bit more zhuzhed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trust you to notice. But he, but he won ultimately, didn't he? Yes. I think he Which did a really good job. Which is good on him, really. Yeah, yeah, he did a really good job. Yeah. So really by that fun. point... We, it was between Ricardo and Jen. Really. Yeah, and, 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 and really Jen is, is leading the way out of those two. Yeah. But also, they'd kind of set up Ben and Alexi to be... The, this week's bad yeah, show. the ones to sort of yeah. watch out for. Because Alexi's punk wasn't really punk at all. It was a similar setup to Juliet. It mm. was very tailored. Uh, so then it took us to the, the last round, the made-to-measure round. Um, 
uh, and the, the maxi dress. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> I God, it when they were doing that. Memories oh. of my mum. I loved maxi dresses. Wearing that, and me as like you know, a, as a three-year-old. He was actually this tall when he was three. <laughs> and she uh, would wear them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mum used to, and I've seen pictures of my mum at weddings and being a bridesmaid and all sorts yeah. with the puffy sleeves and the fitted bit. And then, I really want to wear dresses like that again, where the really beautiful structured yeah. top. But then, part, and then wafting. flowiness. Yeah, you just even, want to run down the road and, yeah. you know, Cause I've had feel the dresses. wind in you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything there. But in some of the dresses, the maxi dress, the more modern ones you get, they're all, not all of them, but a lot of them are strappy or they've got a low V or, you know, they're not something, you know, they're not as beautifully structured as right, they were. Okay. You know, you don't get that lovely fitted top and beautiful, not necessarily billowy sleeves, mm. but... You know, not how they used to be. I've seen when they were doing the catwalks and they were showing them off, you know, in that wee mm. section. <gasps> yeah. Some of them were yeah, just yeah. astounding. Absolutely stunning. So So we were excited straight off, yes, weren't we? Really? Yes. That's yeah. So it was sure. Georgette or Crepe, wasn't it, they had to use. Yes. Um or well there was chiffon and yeah, yeah, yeah. what have you made. Um and they I think the tips were getting the was it the bodice, yeah, that Yeah, getting was the bodice to important. fit. Important. Yes. Now, I have a problem with this last challenge, and it comes down to the blinking editing again. Oh. Because when you watch it, I don't know what you lot think, but they edited that, obviously, to you know, it's towards the end of the programme. They're, they're trying to make it feel pressured. Yeah. But literally, with two minutes to go, Ben and Alexi, because they really focused on those two. Yeah. It looked like didn't it was have like, anything. Yeah, it looked didn't like it did nothing. Didn't literally have anything. I thought Alexi was going to break down in tears yeah. at one point, I'm sure. But then the next thing, it's done. Unbelievably finished. Yeah. His was uh, so and I, that, just, that just really frustrated me. Yeah. Because it's like... Yeah, because you didn't see them we, trying we, on or anything. No choice, right, yeah. There's literally one minute left and then and Alexi hadn't even put it on his model. No. He didn't check the sizing. But clearly he had, but yeah, it's it where wasn't it's just, shown. It's where it just frustrates me a bit there, because you're you're thinking, oh, it's between those two. And then suddenly, when it came out, you think, yeah, that's when I just knew our oh, Ben's going then, isn't he? Yeah. Because Alexis was too good. So, yeah, I don't know. I had a problem with the editing there. But I understand why they've got to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. To get that excitement. engagement and excitement, yeah, yeah. To want to keep watching. But Because I suppose may, maybe they were the most behind. So they kind of yes. place more emphasis on that. Yeah. So they'd be like, keep watching to find out. And if they're all doing well, ten minute, watching 10 minutes is boring 10 minutes, isn't it? So yeah. they have to try and Watch make... Watch they all do the things really well. They have to well. try and make a story out of something, don't yeah, they? Yeah, um, of course. Anyway, so let's just go through some of them. So um, Ben. Ben. So Ben designed his fabric. Yeah. And he drafted his pattern. Yeah. He had that mushroom, the material, mm. I love the material. It was wonderful. It was. And then he was trying those The pleats around the centre, which he ah. didn't get even. No. And they pointed that out to him, that, you know, you have to make sure they're really even. And then they weren't. And it looked really loose yeah, and badly it, put together. He, he was obviously taking a risk with a new style, like he did on the, yeah. the previous episodes. Cause, but yeah. you'd think after trying too much in previous episodes, you think you'd just perhaps try and, all right, I'll just rein it back in a bit. Yeah, tone it in a wee bit, because it has never worked in the past properly, has it? No, no, no. So... No. But, but it was, was a lovely idea, though, yeah. but it's I enjoyed just him a shame. because he was so adventurous. That was one thing. He really did push yes, out as yeah. much as he and could. And good on him for taking risks like yeah, that. Yeah, but you know. it was just a risk too yeah. far. Because we've said that about the previous people that have gone out. Yeah. They've obviously pushed it a wee bit too far. And so, then... so that was Ben's. Jen was doing a, a big, bold print wasn't she yes and hers was a, a 70s pattern mm. but she fell down with the shoulder pads oh yes what was that yeah about? i didn't even notice that she until... put them in at the last but i seen her put them in at the last uh, minute and i was like what are you doing step away because they actually oh, detracted from the dress completely yeah. i didn't i didn't see until patrick said oh was it no it was esme i think so, her yeah. shoulders locked on the yeah. walk because i was you look at her walk and down and you're like oh disappointing but the pattern did say to put them in she put them in the wrong way Ah. And then the shoulders, they weren't in the right place because her shoulders were actually wider than the shoulder pads, the model. Right. So, well, yes, yeah. that's where a lot of that is. I mean, my I can do patchwork, can't do anything else. <laughs> yeah. Well, she did look, it did look like a, overall, I liked yeah. the outfit. It was a shame about the shoulders because that just ruined it. Um, we then had Janet um, with her scooped neck. 
ditzy print. She had the ditzy print, didn't she? And that um, yeah, the the bishop sleeve. Oh yes, that was another funny moment with yeah, her, wasn't her particular sleeve name. <laughs> But hers again. Uh, that was another authentic yeah. '70s pattern. But she and she was looking quite solid throughout all that, wasn't yes. she? Yes, and it's just it's a shame she budged the fix that yeah. she did on the top. Yeah. So she should have unpicked, fixed yeah. it, and restitched it. That's what Esme was saying. Lee had the purpley sort of lavendery, really floaty. Thing. Well, yeah, yeah, but you would have liked that then, would you? Is but a swish. A... Why shouldn't? Well, it depends. Oh, It'd right. be nice for holidays, I suppose. If we're swishing oh, about. Yeah. And mm. out of the pool and what have you, but. And then we have yeah. um, Alexi's one, the, the chiffon, the, fo the fitted bodice. That, what did you think of that? I considering it was edited to look so. Yeah. Considering it, you thought, oh no, he's not going to get it. Yeah. It was fabulously yeah. finished. And the yeah. piping around the sleeve, because the, they mentioned the piping here. Yes, it looked a bit. There was also piping around the sleeve as well. Oh, wow. Which, you know, and it had this big drape yeah. sleeve. It looked quite um, elvish. You know, with the drape sleeve. Yes, yeah, yeah. And it was that those dark muted colours as well. Yeah. Wasn't it? So he is clearly, that's his thing. Because like, if you think about his Woodland Fairy last week. Oh yes, yeah, those dark browns, isn't it? But it was fabulously finished off. Um, Mercedes with her, her her yoke that was done all the way across. <gasps> yes, um, I really liked hers. Uh, that, I, thought that was I thought it was, as as it was being shown, I thought it was quite understated and it didn't, they weren't really focusing on her much, but ultimately that's probably why. Because yeah. she and she won uh, Garment of the Week to, with it. She was gonna win, yes. So, um, because when it was finished, it looked phenomenal. Yeah, the and the, fabri and the oh. fabric and everything. Oh. It just looks so summery yeah. and so vibrant and so colourful. I mean, who wouldn't want to wear it? Um, um, Ricardo. He's one that drafted. Yeah. Um, oh, yes, they took the belt off his. Yes. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah, it was way better without it. I, mean, I didn't even notice that. But uh, I mean, I, I wonder if he just did it because the pattern said to have the belt? No, because it said on the thing, oh, he didn't initially, because he drafted the pattern. Wow. So it's his pattern. Right. But he said there was a clip of him saying, oh, if, if you know, if it does not, when I put, if the fit isn't right when I put it on, I'll add a belt. So ah, that was his so fit. pull it in. Because ah, the fit you. wasn't quite yeah. right and he didn't match the seams. Yeah. So maybe he was trying to hide that. Yeah, yeah. Point. But I'd look much better without the belt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it was still fitted. They said yeah. it was fitted. It looked still fitted. It didn't yeah. look noticeably bad, didn't it? Yeah. Um, and then uh, Juliet with her, again, in that modern pattern. And I, uh, when, yeah. they, when they were talking about that, I didn't know whether that was a big setup for a big fail. A but it, 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 but yeah. it wasn't at all. No. Her dress was lovely. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got it's those, what did they call them? Flare. Flounces. Flounces. Mm. I knew it was a... F Flare. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a that nice was that dress. That was Georgette as well. It just looked, woof, didn't it? Yeah. Wafty. But for me, in my head, that's quite old lady-ish. What, the flounces yeah. or the, the, the dress? The flounces and oh. that style of dress. Maybe it's just because yes. the way I've seen it. But for, I think Living in Brighton has done this to me. Where you see loads of fabulous vintage clothes. Ah, and you see the proper yeah. maxi dresses and the fitted and everything. Yeah. And then the flounces are the modern yeah. ones that you get in shops. And generally... Right. They're for older ladies, yeah. or for a wedding, or for an occasion. And or maybe that's just a weird association I have in my head. So I've seen younger women wearing them, I've seen women younger than me wearing them, mm. but I still in my head, I'm like, oh, this very old lady. But that's not necessary. I, I don't mean that, I just... No, 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 no. You know no, what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I don't like it. It looks really dated. Whereas the 70s stuff just looks fabulous. Oh, it was, and I mean, that summed up the episode, wasn't it, really? Yeah. That they had actually all done really well, and uh, yes, Mercedes won that. Yeah, uh, and got the uh, yeah garment of the week with it. I should point out, I did write Juliet off shoulder fab. Oh, but it's just <laughs> I, it wouldn't be something I would ever wear. No, whereas some of the other ones I would definitely wear, except yeah. for the one who had the blue belt with the that was Janet. That was Janet. Yeah, it was an interesting. That did look quite old fashioned, yes. though, didn't it? That, that was, was almost very. Marmot. That was traditional, wasn't it? Yes, it with looked like something little house the white. in the prairie that yes. you wear. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Where you've got um, leftover curtain material and you're going to do that with it. <laughs> But as an episode, as a whole episode, it was just great, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm definitely yeah. getting myself a flare pattern now. I am yeah. definitely making yeah. myself some flares. Not wear them again till winter, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, very cool, though. Are you yeah. getting inspired to make something? It yeah. really is. I got, I'll have yeah. my pattern book out. I'm looking yeah. at things. Well, I, I had a go. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. and you've started something yeah. as well, we should I'm, say, in the corner. Uh, I'm, I'm no sewer at all, uh, but I've, I'm having a go at making a little kid's... Why did I choose a shirt? But it's a good one too. So I've done the front, the two front and the back, 
and I've just put the yoke in as well. Look at and you've got um, straight lines and everything with your yeah. top stitching. Um, that's, that's, but that's I think it will, it will get chucked in the in the pile. Oh no, finish it. Well, it's the sleeves. Uh, uh, I, I even googled how to do a shirt sleeve, but it, I think what frustrates me is the pattern. The pattern is just, I don't know whether the pattern is missing something out or whether it's assuming um, you know what to do, but yeah. uh, I think we'll see. I'll bring, in my, I'll bring in my book because it might actually explain it. Because right. that's something I struggled with when yeah. I first started. It's like, I don't understand. And then Wendy would come along and explain it in English. Yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, makes sense. I think, and I'll ask, I'll ask the, the wonderful ladies. But you have that yeah. as well with knitting patterns. Yeah. Like we had oh, to sit and yes. decipher knit yeah. knitting oh, that patterns. That frustrates me as well. They assume, they assume you know. But, uh, yeah. But yes, it's wonderfully inspiring. Um, so I'm getting people coming in asking season. for stuff and I want to get um, jersey in. I've yes. got to try and get jersey in. Yes, please, if you uh, wouldn't mind. Yeah. It's just everything comes shirt. on such big bolts. Oh. You've got to buy 10 metres. But considering most... You know, uh, most you can't... But a lot, of, a lot of patterns require a large amount Indeed. of material. Indeed, yes. Yeah. yeah. Trying to so. articulate. My words are going, people. I need but more it, coffee. You then just can't... You can't necessarily get all the colours because if it's 10 metres uh, on a bolt, I might be able to forward two or three bolts, and it's like, oh, well, not even that really, maybe one bolt. Yeah. You know, because it's like. Pick a nice whatever. grey. <laughs> but then jersey is uh, cheaper anyway. Yeah, there's loads yeah. of grey. Yeah, loads of yeah. grey. Yeah. Well, I want to make a, a grey maxi skirt, so if you wouldn't mind. All right, okay. Just saying, putting it out there. <laughs> But yeah. yes, wonderfully inspiring. So that was episode three, wasn't it? Yeah, really enjoyed it. My favourite one yet, I think. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. I just, I, yeah, um, I and all the clothes. Obviously, we had to say goodbye to, poor ben. to ben, didn't we? I was sad to see. Yeah. I'm actually now starting to get emotionally invested. And oh, I think, yes. I think we yeah. are right in yeah. our gen. Yeah, we. I, I said it from week one. <laughs> Only because we forced you. Only because we and Tang were like, give us an answer. <laughs> So it'll be interesting to see um, yeah. uh, what's happening next week. So and maybe they are maybe they're adjusting Ricardo's appearance because he's going to be in for longer. Oh, could be. Yeah. Although that we'll would see. be weird. We'll but see. You never know. No. But yes, so. Jen, Jen for the win. Mm. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's chat. Short and sweet. Yeah, this time. sometimes it's all you want, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we'll hopefully have the team back uh, next, next week one. for a yeah. for proper a, sit down. Yeah. Natter. Well, it's lovely to hear other people's opinions. I think not yeah. that I'm saying your opinion is yeah. not, but just doesn't but like I me. think I think the you know the other end like listening to other people too, don't yeah. they? So of course, yeah. Enjoy watching it. Um, and yes. uh, thanks a million for yeah. watching. And please like and subscribe and click all the buttons down below and comment yeah. and get involved. All that jazz. And we'll see you next week. Yes. Bye. Bye.